Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to talk about how you can set your different inventory and non-inventory and whatever items to either being taxable or non-taxable and what the difference is there and what it means to you. But before we do that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there for posting any miscellaneous questions you have about QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have over a thousand members, other people using QuickBooks Point of Sale, just waiting to answer all of your questions in a community format. It's a great place to be. You can also request videos on there if you like. I always like to hear new ideas for videos that I could do for my channel. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today to get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, this is going to be a pretty simple video, but uh, I mean, you, sometimes you got to put the basics out there. You got to build your building blocks with basics so that people understand the fundamentals and then they can get into the more advanced topics. Today, we're going to hit up the item list in QuickBooks point of sale and you see we got all kinds of different items in here. And I've noticed that a lot of my items are non-taxable. And so I'm ringing people up on the make a sale screen and, and things are going wrong because I'm not collecting tax and I should be. So I'm going to point out that uh, I can click on any one of these items and I can show the details. And I can see that a lot of them are set for tax non now we're going to take a little tangent sidestep over here to file preferences company and I'm going to point out to you in the sales tax area it's going to talk to QuickBooks Financial for a moment in sales tax each different location tax has two codes one is tax one is none if you have other tax codes that's a little strange um, uh, you most shops are going to have a single location so just one of these little groupings and they should have one called tax and one called non but I've had people misunderstand the system a lot so I should point that out I've seen people like put in exempt and tax and Florida and dogs and cats and all sorts of weird tax codes because uh, they just misunderstand the system. So your items are either going to be taxable or they're not going to be taxable in most any state. And so you should just call it tax and non. And the one that actually says tax, you're going to make the tax code and you're going to put in your percentage and the other one is just going to be no tax. All right. Is that understood? So back to super pants. Super pants is non-taxable. That's because I live in Minnesota and clothing is deemed an essential item that you need to live so they don't tax it. I've been to other states like Georgia and a few others that uh, I think they actually have tax on clothing. That's a bummer dudes. All right, I'm going to hit edit and we'll pretend we're in a different state. So here we have our super pants and I'm simply going to choose tax and now it's going to be that 7.25 on the local tax uh, so I'll save that if you're trying to do this for a big number of items because you've set a ton of them wrong I do have another video that talks about mass updating your tax codes so check that out otherwise the next quickest way uh, the, the mass update is the quickest way, but you can also, whoops, too many clicks. You can also just do it right here. If you have the column added, you can switch by clicking on the list view and it's going to go a little bit faster, but it's still a little chunky compared to doing it massively in Excel, which is what the other video is about. So there you have it. Now you know how to edit items and change their tax code because if you notice on your receipt that there's no tax on a certain item and there should be, then you're breaking the law, you big criminal. <laughs> you got to collect your tax. Don't get swept up by the IRS. All right. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye now.